Hello everyone and welcome to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name is Adam and I am back with some more Minecraft All the Mods 8. Uh, today is going to be, well, more of the same I guess. Uh, back to the quest book and see what uh, what we can what we can do. This is something I would like to, to do more of today. Uh, it's Britannia because I made a start but I haven't actually done well anything yet so there is one particular item that I would like to get and that's the Sojourner's Sash that gives you a speed and step boost uh, the only reason I want that is just because I haven't got to worry about it on my, my uh, armor then I haven't got to worry about you know, fishing out all these gems and, and stuff I can focus on perhaps damage or something else so that's one thing I would like to look at it doesn't actually look like it's a quest to do though so that's that's slightly disappointing but not on the end of the world by any means um, so I'm gonna worry about that a little later because I will need a bit of mana to start off with and I'm going to need the uh, the altar and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to need to go down this sort of route. Uh, and yeah, creating runes. There we go, the runic altar. Uh, get some. Might even get the might even get the the runes that I need to make it, so I don't have to worry worry about it. Uh, alchemy catalyst. Would I worry about that? You no, know, it's a handy thing to have. I may not need it, but I'll do it anyway for the for the quest. And uh, obviously, I'll I'll do some bits and pieces. I'm not going to do the armor, but I'll may do things like the band of aura, maybe even the greater band of aura. Um, I don't know if I'll necessarily go down into the terror steel and the the elven gateways and and all that sort of stuff. Um, We'll see. We'll see if that's something that I I need to do or don't need to do. I I, I don't yet. I don't yet know. Um, I mean, what what sort of damage? Yeah, these things even these things aren't that amazing in terms of damage. That's ten. What have I got here? My Neverite sword, twelve. Which by the way could do an upgrade because. Because, because it can. Uh, so yeah, that's that's something that I can look at. Um, let's step back from the noise. I have adjusted the volume a little bit, so hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, let's see what else is there. So I'm not going to bother with create um, or thermal because I've already got most of the mechanism machines that I'm actually going to use. Uh, blue skies I haven't looked into and I did a fair bit of twilight forest where did I stop that's right I defeated the hydra but I never got to the, uh, the night phantom thing whatever it was called I'm assuming it's night phantom so I, I don't think I killed him Yeah, I definitely, I definitely didn't do the Yeti or anything like that, did I? But is it worth it? The Giants can be quite interesting. Growing trees. There are loot chests that can give you rare saplings. Collect them all. Okay, I didn't, didn't know that was a thing. That might be something that I could eventually get towards. Um, I don't know again if this is, you know, anything here is really worth it. That one I've already done by the looks of it, but obviously I need to do this one. I need to defeat the Yeti to unlock the uh, glacier biome. Oh, that's right, the Snow Queen. I forgot about the Snow Queen. And then we got the Giants. The giant pickaxe is it genuinely is a giant pickaxe. 
I mean, it's one of those things that when you see it, you think, oh, it's just unrealistic. Use the giant pickaxe to break it. You'll find some loot. You want to get the lamp of cinders. So that's something that you need to continue. Use the lamp of cinders. You'll now be able to break the thorns in the thornland biome. There you go. So that's what that's for. And then the final boss is not yet implemented. Instead, head to the giant castle in the final plateau and grab some door blocks. Oh, I remember these doors. These um, these big castles in the sky. Yeah. These, these were pretty, pretty awesome things. Uh, Charm of Life. That's actually fairly easy to do. I think I'll probably bang that out now, maybe. Do I have some hearts in here? Isn't that what, what the uh, Charm of Life is? Or is that a different thing? Am I thinking of something that's similar but not the same? Oh, so yeah, it's actually a charm. It's actually called the Charm of Life. Uh, I did actually have a Charm of Life at one point. Oh, no, I've got two. No, not enough to do that particular quest. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an ice sword. Looks a bit rubbish. A glass sword. Oh, that's freaking awesome, but only has one durability, so you can hit it, hit something, and then it will die immediately. Too fussed about the rest. Blue skies. What's what's blue skies all about? So add two new dimensions, both filled with new blocks, creatures, and a total of four bosses. To get started, we need to find the gatekeeper. Somewhere in the overworld, you'll find two simple homes. The gatekeeper lives here, and he trade you for a few items to get you started in the mod. Acquire the blue journal. You'll also need the zeal lighter in the next quest. Okay, so it, you have to do some manual exploring before you can uh, start exploring the new worlds. So I need to keep my eye out for a building that looks a bit like that. What do you get out of it? Okay, so you have to make your own tools. Weapons are, you know, meh. What about, what about right at the end? Okay, not, not exactly ideal. So I'm not sure if this is necessarily something that I will uh, be going down too far down. Maybe just to have a look in and, and see what it's about. But One that I do want to look at no more is this one, the Hostile Neural Networks. It's basically a form of mob spawner, I guess. You know, to get the the loot from the mobs. Um, except it's done this particular way. So I have already done a fair amount, and I've got here up to the simulation chamber part. Um, I've got one prediction matrix that's in there already, and that has been set with a. Enderman, which you can see up in the top corner there. So I need to get. Do you let me have a quick look at it? There it is. Please insert a data model. I thought there were already ones. Was one in there? Okay. Well, you know what? I'm gonna. I don't think I need to carry that around. But it was something I did need to carry around. And where did that just go? Oh, that was that was not what it was. Oh yeah, I was gonna put all that away, wasn't I? <laughs> I forgot that I was supposed to do that off camera. Never mind. Um, yeah, there was something else that I was supposed to carry around that has the um, the thingy in it with the stuff. There it is, the deep learner. The deep learner. And it's currently got the Enderman model in it. So I think that's the thing I can... There we go. I can right click. Gives you a little bit of information about the uh, particular mob. Uh, which is actually kind of helpful sometimes. 
and uh, it shows you how many you got left it's current accuracy which upgrades as you kill more and go up through the levels so i'm on 40 at the minute one more kill and i'll upgrade to basic which should increase the accuracy uh, as you can see you can put more in here but for the moment i've, I've just stuck with the one enderman uh, so that goes into its, it has, has its own slot that's quite nice isn't it so let's do that's weird oh, there we go it was just being strange let's put some things away that I don't need uh, uh, in here there is a ton of stuff so I'm going to real quick just empty this out I'm not going to bother putting things away properly, I'm just going to dump it all. Or certainly a fair amount of it. Uh, no, that one. And these are mystical flowers, they, also, they can stay in there, I'll, um, I'll deal with them next time that I go past the uh, Britannia setup along with the living rock and living wood. Obviously they have their own special home outside. Uh, you'll see that in a minute if you haven't already seen it. A lot of, a lot of uh, food stuff I've picked up there somehow. Oh, it triggered some, <laughs> triggered some questy things. Mind, I'm busy. Where are you lot coming from? You're quite finished. Right, they can go in there where they belong. And picked up. Well, how does a spider have an axe? A strangely good axe. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. This has still got plenty of coal. This has still got uh, got some mana in it. Should we have a quick look to see if there's... I don't want to say decent enough, but there's at least some. There's a tiny bit in there. Probably enough to... Uh, Probably enough to, um, you know, I could probably chuck a bit of string in there and complete the next quest. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's enough for that. So if I put that in there, there we go, quest complete. So let's just grab these, uh, this XP from these plants. And it was the next quest I needed to do anyway, so that's perfect. So, nice chunk of XP and hopefully something useful. Or, or, or not. Actually, you know, it, it'll be useful at some point. So that brings me down to, uh, down to here. So, minor diamonds and minor pearls are the more common ones. There's uh, obviously ender pearl and uh, a diamond chucked in there why did I run away to come put these in here that's the wrong place uh, so those those are something you're going to need a fair amount of but as you know I'm busy making some enderman essence which will give me a decent supply Ender pearls. So there we go. I've already got twenty back from the ooh, quite a few that I spent. But once they're recouped, I'm then just making pure profit. Which you know, with ender pearls, can't complain about that. 
Once upon a time there was um, a mod called Extra Utilities that gave you uh, a plant called an Ender Lily. And those were brilliant because you could just get yourself one of them and have them out here and they grew Ender Pearls. Which, you know, is something that's obviously extremely helpful because it meant you, you didn't have to do anything. You could just pop outside, just grab yourself a handful, uh, and then uh, disappear off again. So, going back to what I'm going to do today. Obviously, I'm not going to have enough mana to do everything. So, we've made a start, but not enough. So, let's go. Let's go kill some Endermen. Where is going to be the best place to kill Enderman? We could go... There's, there's Enderman in the Never. Usually knocking around. Thanks, Rain. Or we can go to the end, where obviously well, there are a ton. So end portal's all the way over there. I'm just trying to think that flying out to the end portal is long and slow. Should I make some form of teleporters to make travelling a little bit easier? Yes, I think is the answer. Problem is, how do I power them? what would be the best way of powering something that's going to be miles away, let's face it. I suppose I could give each one its own solar panel or wind turbine thing. I don't want anything that, that I would need to every now and then go and top up with fuel or something. It needs to just sit there and and power itself without me having to worry too much about it. And the problem with the end portal is it's all underground, so wind and solar aren't really going to work, are they? So what would be a good power source? Let's consult the La Quest book. And let's go to power. Does it have any suggestions? Do we have anything that I can can use? What about flux? How how big is the range? Ah. It can store and wirelessly transmit power even across dimensions. It can even charge items in your inventory. Maybe I should make a flux network and power it with that. So let's 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 get the basics of this and let's test it out, excuse me. In this module, you need flux cores and flux blocks to craft the core parts of your network. Make a few of each. So this wants me to do four flux cores and one flux block. Okay. Let's see what's needed with with these. So a flux core. It needs obsidian. And flux dust and an eye vendor that's that's easy enough. Flux dust is redstone. Left click the obsidian. Okay. 
So does that just get some redstone and left click on obsidian and it converts it? Y plus 2 equals obsidian, Y plus 1, what does that mean? Yeah, well I've got some flux and this makes 4 anyway so I can just bang that one out now, luckily I've got the stuff I need but uh, I won't have enough though for the next bomb Ooh, flux block, will I? Yeah, I don't have enough, enough flux Obtained by compressing redstone dust with bedrock and obsidian. Oh, okay. So it's not just clicking then. That does make sense there, doesn't it? But how do you get obsidian to, to drop like that? Am I missing something? Obsidian doesn't obey the laws of physics, like gravel and sand and that stuff or do you or do you put redstone down and then left click and then it does something it has to be on bedrock well, let's grab a whole bunch of redstone I'll take some obsidian because I don't know if I have any or not. If I find any, anyway. And so let's go and find some bedrock. And uh, no, it's been so long since I've actually been in my mine, I can't even remember where it is. It's over the hill here. Over the hill in this gap, was it? I can't even remember. down here and this seems to go downwards doesn't it and it's lit up it would make some form of sense not down there or down here did I even dig down to to bedrock have I even gone down that deep Hold on, what's this? Oh, let's be a little more gentle. This is going down deep, with his deep slate. Oh, we've got to go back up again to then go back down. Definitely been down here. Oh. Need a smidge of food. Remember I can remotely light things up now, which is awesome. Well, we're definitely down down quite deep. There's a ton of obsidian, so that might be a, a good thing to grab while I'm here. Uh, let's get something like cobble and block this water, this little waterfall here. Say this little waterfall, it comes from miles away. If I can block it, say, here. That should then, hopefully... Maybe not. Oh no, it's just, just, it's just being slow. It's just being slow. Let's 
getting there. It's almost there. I can see the obsidian. Hey, there we go. Now, because of my awesome all the radium axe and the cheatiness that is vein miner. Is that 64 blocks? Oh wait, no. Important. Turn the magnet on. That's a charm that goes right at the bottom, is it? There it is. Let's see if we can break this and hopefully get it all. Yes, 64 blocks in one massive chunk. Where did you come from now? You, you, you different water? Yes, you are different water. Fire. That's going to take a little while to <laughs> just stop. Let's throw some light around. Are those, are those some loot boxes I somehow haven't looted down there? <coughs> Excuse me. You've got to like this magic. Light up a place. All by remote control. Yeah, that's definitely that looks like a whole bunch of of loot boxes, isn't it? While I wait, I'm going to have a little look over here. Let's see what on earth all this lot is. And obviously, kill anything that comes in my way. Hi, zombies. Anyone else? Who are you? I heard you. Hear you. Look at you not. There's a spawn around here. Seriously, is there a spawner? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. All right. Oh, oh, too far. They were quite angry, weren't they? Oh, there's the spawner. Stupid spiders. Stupid poisonous cave spiders. Right, let's try and light the room up this time and not one of the spiders. And we'll go and get that spawner and we'll stop this lot from driving me mad. Everywhere. So there used to be a zombie spawner here as well. Or is that a zombie spawner and the spiders must be somewhere else? Well, look, it's, it's, right, it's right there. Right, right around the corner. So that's the spider one, and that's the zombie. Speaking of the devil, even though it's lit up, it's obviously dark enough to still have these gits. I do like that you can light up mobs with this thing, it's pretty awesome. All 
Right. Let's do some looting. See what we can find. Oh, that's a that's a nice gem. It's not incredibly useful, but it is a flawless one, and that has got me in a gold, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, that heals all the people around me. Sourceberry, I'm not eating yet. How have I not eaten the sourceberry? I'm going to need rope. Don't ask what on earth is going to come out of that if I try and open it. I don't need leads. Don't really need any of that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll take the gold, I'll take the coal. You never know when coal's going to come in useful, let's face it. Have some of the string. A nuke virus. That sounds nasty. Uh, I'll grab a bucket. I've just got the Lexica Britannia. That's a rubbish kind of gem. I'll grab, I'll grab the saddle just because you never know when you might want to ride a horse. Um, did the did the gem get me anything? No. So that's all that. Look at that! You off my head. Didn't even notice I was there. The spawner can stay. It's too lit up now for them to spawn anything. Uh, God, that stupid forty models in the way. Well, that's right. I. Wanted to come up here and see what all this lot was all about. We've got an empty furnace, an empty spitting table, some pickaxes, which of course I don't need anymore. Projectile protection. Oh, it's four, so I'll grab it, you never know. Could be handy in a left future. And then, yeah, let's start working my way through these. That's not bad. 9.5 and I'm 12. It's it's not the worst sword I've ever seen. Uh, that's not too bad a gem. And these are all pretty empty, these barrels, aren't they? Don't worry, and just a whole bunch of fish. Which, should I really want, but I could pop in here and cook up right now. I can sit there and churn through. Whilst I uh, pop down here and get some more, whatever it was that I was here to come and get. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Uh, obsidian, and I was going to try and find myself some some thingies. Don't do that. So, down here in this gap. There's a ton of obsidian and some something dark ore. But it's so in the way, I can't see what it is. Perfect though. light up so I can see if there's anything coming whilst I'm busy churning away at this. I can hear footsteps, that's why. Something is near me. There he is. I'm going to axe you to death. So that is almost two stacks. Look at that. Two, almost two that four away from two stacks of obsidian. Oh, here's some more. This will definitely be two stacks now, so there should be plenty to uh, to facilitate my flux needs. Now I've got to find. Now I've got to go down, haven't I? Do, do I bother looking? And so should I just dig here, or should I try and find somewhere that goes down on its own? Let's 
switch. You're up. I've been here before. What's with all the spawn eggs? Cave spider, creeper, skeleton, slime, zombie. Take the horse armor. Okay. Some interesting interesting things. I'm yeah, very confused about that. Got to do those, I'll put all this stuff I've picked up in the bag. I don't want it to get lost now. Except for the obsidian that I actually need. How far down? Oops, I've just been here, haven't I? So how far down do we think it is? What what level is bedrock here? There is only one way to find out. Let's start digging. I'm digging in the wrong place. There's too much lava here. There's a lot of lava knocking around here, isn't there? Just even more. Everywhere I go, lava. Lava. Oh. Obviously lava. Right, okay, there's, there's no lava here. Let's let's see how far we can get here. Ah, that's bedrock. Let's clear out some space. Hopefully without finding some more lava. 100% bedrock. So how does this work? So let's go back to the uh, flux dust. Left click the obsidian. So I'm guessing obsidian has to be above and yeah, so bedrock is on Y0, redstone is on Y1, obsidian is on Y2. I'm guessing that's what it, what it means. But, you know, we are minus whatever. So let's, let's pop so if the redstone would have to go there. I'm guessing I put that there and a bit of redstone, chuck it there, and then, oh. I forget that I'm wearing, yeah, I need to take that off, don't I? <laughs> right, turn that off before it drives me mad. What's happening here? Is it just not going under? Ah, hey, there we go. So yeah, you literally just have to put put that there. Can I put like the whole stack in here? Oh, there we go. That's how you get flux duct, flux dust even. And that turned that to uh, to cobblestone, interestingly. So let's do the remaining what I've got left of the stack here. I like that. That's that's quite an interesting little mechanic. It's different. 
don't see enough different. So I think that was everything. So I got uh, 52 flux dust. Obviously, I've got tons of of the good stuff. I'm going to cheat back home, where I can continue making these uh, these things.